Hello and welcome to 123 Copy DVD. Today we're going to be learning how to convert a DVD to a device format um, or a computer format. Um, so the formats that you, you will be converting to will be like MP4 um, for use on a, you know, uh, an Android, a uh, Blackberry, and we can go to H264 for use on any, any Apple, um, an iPhone, iPad, I, you know, uh, iPod devices. So as you can see here, I've got my 2014 Platinum version um, loaded here. Now I can simply go to the Copy Convert DVD video tab that I've got pinned here under my Quick Launch menu. Uh, but if you don't have that uh, tab, just simply go to the Video option, um, Video tab at the top here and select that. So that'll bring up all our, our, our video options for, for DVDs. So uh, we will go, where we go? We're gonna go to Copy and Convert DVD Video as you can see here, my, my DVD is already loaded, um, and it is one minute and basically 20, 24, and 12 seconds long. Um, over onto the right-hand side here, I've got selected as movie only, so I just want to grab the movie. Uh, I don't want to grab any anything else. So you, you do have that option, obviously, using clone or, or entire disc. Um, episodic is more for, you know, if you're trying to convert um, a, a TV show, for instance and you know, maybe there's an episode that you don't want to include, so you want to use that. Um, so then we're going to go to the Convert to DVD section over here, so this is where we want to be to be able to convert the DVD to our device formats. So I'll select that, and then from here, similar um, options from the, from the other side, um, movie only or episodic. Uh, obviously you can't do entire disc, um, uh, or you can't do the, the, the clone or the entire disc uh, versions. Um, when you're just uh, when you're converting, so under our settings, we're going to just kind of leave that as is. Um, subtitle settings, we're going to leave that as 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 it is as well. Um, the movie I am converting doesn't have any subtitles, so I'm not going to really worry about that. So under the output, here's where we have all our our output options. So as you can see, Android, Apple TV, Apple TV two, um, BlackBerry, the older ones, um, BlackBerry Pearl. Uh, Blackberry Storm, Creative Zen, DivX, Galaxy Tab. So there's there's a numerous amounts of, um, of uh, options to, to convert to. So I would probably, um, for this instance, we're just going to convert to uh, a, a computer format. So I'm just going to use Windows Media Player. And so I've made, once I've selected Windows Media Player, um, I just would hit Convert DVD. So what it'll give you here is title file name. So here's where um, it'll go to. And here's where you can change it. Now the, the movie I have loaded is it's called Laser Mission. So um, that's what I'm going to call it now. Um, and then you can click the browse to, to find or look for a different location of where you want to the video. But for now, that's good. And then I'll hit OK. So this is quite simple. It'll, depending on the movie, um, uh, it'll, it'll take some time to do the conversion. Um, so once it does, it, it'll pop up and, and open up in a folder uh, in my Windows Media and I'll be able to play that directly from my computer. So let's just wait um, for that to happen. Alright, so as you can see, it took about 15-14 um, minutes to uh, actually complete the conversion. Um, now this will depend um, on your computer, uh, the, the processor, how much RAM you have, um, so results will vary. So as you can see, the program is say, telling me that the um, DVD tiles converted successfully, but I'd like to open the output folder now. So let's go ahead and, and check it out. So uh, laser mission, and we'll just go to play. Let's see how that ended up for us. So. So as it's playing, the slow intro, uh, we'll skip to it. Now, this mission is, is an older film, as you can tell by the, the, the green on the uh, on the actual um, film here. So it did convert successfully, and like I said, you can convert that to you know any of the other ones. Um, I know I convert mine, uh, my most of my videos to be able to watch on my phone um, when I'm riding the bus or you know going on a trip, long trip somewhere, ferry, or boat ride, or anything. I was like that, so I would convert mine to uh, MP4 uh, for my BlackBerry. But Android, um, all the Apple the devices, um, iPods, iPads, um, iPhones, 
which you can see here, um, it, it'll do them all. So, uh, as I said before, it'll take a, it'll depend on how, how good a computer you have, uh, the conversion time, um, but the, the, the result is, is usually great. So, until next time, thanks for watching.